Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the TarotEmpress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your Twin Flame Tarot card reading, okay? So this is going to be a general reading and I've already shuffled the tarot cards and laid them out. If you want a personal tarot card reading, you can get it at the TarotEmpress.com. So let's begin your reading. The very first card that is catching my eye is one that is linked towards the Twin Flame Union, okay? In many ways, it talks about an awakening. It also talks about being on a journey in which someone is preferring to be by themselves. So I feel like this journey at this point of time could be incredibly difficult for you to deal with, especially since you know who your twin flame is, you want to be with them, but there's just this element that is preventing this from happening. Now, this card also talks about, you know, shedding a lot of the things that you've held very firmly within your belief system, okay? So with this particular card, it's all about becoming a different person. It's sort of like a snake that is shedding its skin, okay? And this is a process of renewal. And you might not see it right now, but you have to look at it from a different perspective. That's what the cards are indicating. Now, when it comes to your twin flame, I feel like someone feels very stuck as well as tied to certain things that are keeping them limited and keeping them restricted, okay? So there's two different elements from this particular card and it can go, you know, in either direction since it's dealing with your energy and dealing with their energy. But I feel like someone is going through a process of renewal whereas the other person is, you know, choosing to stay stuck in the current mindset. It's not very healthy at this point of time, but what can you do, okay? So the next card is talking about the fact that the two of you should be celebrating this union and should be at a point in which you are acknowledging the connection and celebrating it in a way in which, you know, both you and this individual are brought closer together. But I feel like with this particular card, you know, it's in a position in which it's challenging the spiritual awakening that is happening. So someone is holding on very firmly to the material world, to the ego, and to things that are, you know, not very important at this point. Now, this could come in the form of someone you know, gloating or acting as if this connection is not important, throwing it in your face, perhaps even, you know, trying to pretend as if it doesn't exist. So this is a very difficult dilemma that you're dealing with, especially since you want to, you know, rejoice in the joy of finding this individual. But I feel like one individual doesn't truly believe it could be the type of individual, you know, that is not allowing themselves to fully understand this union. So they might be a little bit immature, okay? They might be going through something in which they can't let go of their own identity, okay? They feel like if they do so, it will be sacrificing a part of themselves. So I feel like there's a lack of trust just because you know, this process is happening and it's something that is welcoming the two of you with open arms, but one individual is choosing to stand by the doorway and not enter into the room just because, you know, they have other things on their mind, other things to worry about, other things that are keeping them preoccupied. Now, as a result of this, you could be feeling very neglected. You could be feeling like, why isn't this individual recognizing this or, you know, letting go of their pride or whatever it is that is holding them back from having and experiencing this with you. So I see that in the past, there might have been some elements and factors that brought the two of you together. And these are powerful things like, for example, maybe the two of you could see eye to eye on the same topics and have 
a general understanding as well as a very compatible view of the world. So your perception of the world, their perception of the world, it was on the same page at one point. And I feel like there was a dedication to try to fix things. But at this point of time, I feel like that sort of energy and enthusiasm, that sort of dedication is gone out of the window, okay? So there has to have been something that happened that triggered this, okay? To go from wanting to work really hard on something and to be dedicated to it and to, you know, be very meticulous in how the two of you were approaching one another and then going to a very lackadaisical approach, which is the complete opposite of being meticulous and methodical. It's, uh, you know, a very fascinating turn of events. So what happened? What triggered this? What caused this? Okay. I feel like one particular individual, right, they might have been sort of discontent about some other aspect of their life. They could also be trapped in this sort of gilded cage where, you know, they are unable to see anything beyond that. And they might think that their mind is open and free, but there's, you know, other things that are limiting them because they're not able to recognize the purpose of this twin flame union. They're not able to give it the respect that it desires or deserves, right? So I do feel like one individual is completely unaware of the fact that there's certain elements and things that they have caused, you know, in their own life and it's affecting the union between the two of you, okay? Now, the next card I'm looking at, it's showing to me that it's very, very difficult to try to control the situation because the two of you are on very different sort of paths right now, okay? I'm seeing that uh, one individual is trying to keep their cool, trying to be as strong as possible, yet the other individual is preoccupied with other elements of their life, you know, so the two of you are just not meeting each other halfway when it comes to the twin flame union. I feel like um, there's certain things that need to be fixed when it comes to one individual's nature, and it could be that they have a lot of, you know, doubt, maybe they have a lot of things that are on their mind. It could be that, um, you know, this individual is just lacking in something. They have some unresolved issues and it could be that they're overly emotional and they could be throwing it in your face whenever they get a chance. And it could be, you know, desecrating the union of the twin flame. And I feel like that's quite unfortunate because the direction that the two of you are heading in isn't necessarily the right one at this point of time. Now, I see that this particular card came up, okay, on the bottom of the deck, and it's going to have its own unique message. In light of this situation and the current cards that I have, its meaning is going to obviously change, okay? So, when it comes to this union, I feel like in terms of its meaning, there is some sort of thing that has to be resolved. There's something that needs to be decided upon within this relationship, okay? The recognition of the twin flame union is very much subject to external influences at this point of time. So that means that... A lot of what is going on at this point of time might seem as if it's outside of your control, but there's, you know, there's much deeper energy that is forming in the background. It's sort of like stagehands. You don't see it working, but it's there because the curtains are drawn and you're not aware of what really is happening. And there's, you know, this higher force that is controlling all of these things and, you know, you're reacting to it. So I do sense from the cards that uh, something else is going on in this relationship and um, you might be feeling frustrated because I feel like you're going in one direction and they're going in the other direction and the two of you could be passing each other by and completely unaware of why things are happening the way it is. So what I'm going to do in the extended reading is I'm going to look at this very complicated situation and get to the bottom of things. 
My particular focus is going to be on why somebody is, you know, not letting go of certain of their beliefs, you know, how can you get around it? What is the way going forward in terms of this relationship? What are the answers that are most important to get you from A to B? Because I feel like, you know, the two of you are not seeing eye to eye right now. And, you know, there's a lot of frustration there because not only is there love and there is this connection, there's also a disregard of it. Okay, and that could be very frustrating because you're feeling it and you're wondering if the other individual feels it or are they just choosing to ignore this journey, you know. So you can find the link in the description box below. If you want a personal meeting, you can get it at thetaroempress.com. Have a wonderful day and take care.